there was a conversation that never happened. Not even a deleted scene, more like a storyboard lost, an idea cut from the first draft. You are co-starring, slouched on the futon while we watch the game, telling me about your new girlfriend. Or more specifically, telling me about all the things you're going to do to your new girlfriend. Action. And part of me still remembers my lines, even though I never said them. That conversation, I just couldn't start for fear of, what, awkwardness or, or, or damaging our friendship. Or maybe just because the commercials were over. That one tiny gesture that might not have changed anything but might have. I remember how I never put my drink down, never muted the TV, and never said, man, the way you talk about her. The, the, the way you treat her, your hands are getting too big for your heart. I can smell the future you on your breath. She isn't safe with you. And now, it, it, it's two weeks later and we're standing in my kitchen. That same silence between us. See, she didn't want to press charges, so you are a convict with sledgehammer hands and no boulders to break them on, and I am just remembering how we used to play football together, right? Numbers 55 and 56, both inside linebackers. I'm remembering the dozens of conversations that never happened, the words oversleeping in the bed of my lungs. I am the least important person in this story, and part of me, part of me, part of me wants to believe that you wouldn't have listened anyway that some evil spirit whispered itself into your skull. Part of me wants to believe that we didn't grow up three blocks from each other, that our eyes aren't the same color. Part of me is always repeating those lines, always reshooting that scene, always reminding myself that despite this guilt, I'm not a bad guy. And you tell me that she never said no, that you're sorry, that you're not a bad guy. And rape culture is silence, right? It is, it is being able to see the future and not doing anything about it. It is believing the fairy tale platitude that there are good people and bad people. And that as long as you're not one of the bad people, your job is done. Your conscience is clear. It is all of us swimming through the same polluted waters of what? Beer commercials, policing masculinity, and stand-up comedians making rape jokes to sound edgy, and media talking heads blaming the victim, and music turning women into objects, and language encouraging us to think of sex as violence, bang, hit. It, smash. it is telling our daughters to dress sensibly and not walk alone at night and telling our sons it is a conversation that never happened. And this is not an excuse for you. It is a reminder for me that while her silence will always mean no, my silence, the silence between us will always mean yes.